everyone, this is Joseph from StartDataEngineering.com. In this video, I want to talk about how you can run unit tests on your SQL transforms with dbt. As always, if you'd like to follow this along in the blog format, I'll leave the link in the description below. So let's get started. First of all, if you're not familiar with what dbt is, I encourage you to check out the video. I'll leave the link in the description below as well. So if you are wondering how you could implement unit tests on a SQL transformation tool like dbt, or how you could create your test data, and test them only locally in your development machine and not in production environments, then follow along. So if you'd like to code along, um, I encourage you to install Docker, Git, dbt, and psql command line tools. You could also follow along without um, typing down the code. So what we are going to do is we're going to clone this GitHub repository. It's open, so you can just go ahead and clone it and we step into the GitHub repository. Now you have these helper scripts. You make them executable. Uh, change modifier, grants, read, write, execute access to the user, which is you. Just for ease, we can set our password as an environment variable so the following scripts don't keep asking for password over and over again. Then let's run set of script. The setup script basically sets up a production database and a development database and creates a base greeting events table in both production and development databases. And it also fills up some fake data for the production database to um, reflect what you might have in a real life scenario. So let's look at the pipeline. The pipeline is very simple. You have a base greeting events table. You transform it into fact greeting events table. In dbt, the concept of testing happens after the transformation is done. This is very different from uh, TDD-based approaches in software programming where you write the test cases and you can test the execution of your function against them. But when you think about SQL and databases, you can check the output only after the transformation has been done. It's, it's a permanent transformation. So in, in this video, you will see how you could use a mock input data in place of base evergreen events and you will compare the results of fact greeting events table to an expected output just to make sure that your transformation is successful. So let's see how that can be done. So in the GitHub repository you already have all the code set up. The first thing you want to look at is this SQL script. Let's take a look at that. So as you can see, you have this complex template here. So dbt allows you to use something called a Jinja template, which allows you to do conditional loops, control statements within your SQL script. What we are doing here is, if your target, uh, target is development environment, so if you're running it on development environment, it chooses data from input-based greeting events model but if it's not development environment, it just uses base greeting events model. So what is input base greeting events? So in dbt, there's the concept of seed data where you could have raw data and load it in as a table and the structure will be inferred by dbt. So if we take a look at the data table, you will see what this what this input data is. It's basically just a mock input data. And uh, we also have the mock output data in there, uh, which we will use later in our code. And the second part is creating a custom macro. So a macro is a SQL script that you can run in different places by calling it using Jinja templates. There are two types of tests in dbt. One is schema test, the other one is data test. Schema tests are basically queries that return zero if it's true, or any number greater than zero if it's false. And data tests are similar, but instead of number, it returns zero records. If it returns more than one record, it's, it's a false. So let's take a look at the macro we have. The macro we have is uh, available in the macros folder, and we call it test equality. SQL. So let's take a look at that. Do cat. Right. So it's pretty straightforward script. 
you can assume you can think of macro as a function so we are defining a function called test equality and then we are getting in uh, input parameters which are available through the keyboard arguments and then we are doing an if statement and if we are we are checking that the environment that it's currently running on matches the environment that has given us an input to this macro and then we run the SQL query if it's not the environment that is provided through the input parameter we just return zero and remember select zero is a true for schema test which our test equality macro is so let's take a look at the, the parsed SQL it's a little bit easier to read so what does this do it selects start from one of the input tables except and doesn't accept with the, the other input table and vice versa what this script does is basically checks if both the tables have equal num have the same rows it doesn't the sorting order doesn't matter because we are doing an except and a union uh, and again this is available in the blog feel free to go there and look at the code so now that we have seen how to create the macro we need to use this macro to test the output of our transformation so let's see how to do that in dbt you define your test within a schema the yaml file which is near your model file uh, our model file is basically a select statement so let's take a look at the schema file so we are testing fact reading events model which is also in the models mods folder so if you see that you can see you have fact reading events which is a select statement so you can see we are testing that model we have some uniqueness and not null constraints on the id and then we use the equality test so now see here how we use unit test dbd dot equality the unit test dbd is the name of our project which is available in dbd project if you see here and then the equality is the name of the SQL script we have here. It, and then what we say is we give it the input parameters, which are compare model and environment. So that's how we specify in dev environment, get the output from this table and ensure that that is same as the expected transform grading event. And again, expected transform grading event is just a mock output data we have in the data folder location so that's basically it so let's go ahead and run this using the run dbt command so what this run dbt command does is it debugs to check if connections are working it loads in the seed data um, which is which is the data available in the data folder into um, your data warehouse and we only do this for oh sorry about that we'll see that in a minute and we only do the seed loading for our development database because we don't need to load these um, mock input and output data in our production database and then we run the transformations using run and then we test it which basically runs these five tests you can see on your left side after tests are done, we generate documents and we serve them. Basically, it starts a web server where you can see the documentation. So let's take a look at that. So you, here you can see your macros, your models, and uh, fact events, greeting events is the model we want to test. So let's look at the lineage. You can see how we use the input base greeting events, transform to staging, and finally fact. You can also take a look at the SQL query that were you that was used to test for equality so basically it takes the source and uh, passes it out into the corresponding SQL so this worked as expected so that's how you run dbt locally and you could easily let me cancel this you could easily run dbt for the production environment using run dbt prod when we run run dbt prod it basically runs the same debug run test generate serve commands but against the production database note that it does not do the seeding because in production we don't need to test our mock input versus mock output 
So again, similarly, you could go to models, and this is in production, you could go to models, fact evergreens. If you check the test, you will see that it just does a select zero because we have the conditional statement in our macro which just says select zero if no environment is uh, given. You could also look at the lineage graph. You will see that it originates from base greeting events, whereas in our production or sorry development database it originates from input based greeting events so you can see the difference there so instead of using a mock input we're using the actual input available in our production database let's go ahead and stop this web server you can ta tear down your docker instances using this tear down script and that is pretty much it. I hope this article gives you a good idea of how you could start doing unit testing b based uh, with the SQL transform based tools like dbt. Um, what this enables is it helps you to keep your development um, cycles much shorter. You don't have to open up a PR and test in a CI environment. You could do this locally which ensures that the code you're pu which makes sure that the code you're pushing is of high quality and does not have any logic issues in it. So um, consider writing a unit test the next time you're use doing a ELT pipeline and dbt. There are other approaches for unit testing in SQL, such as setting up a local environment using Python and writing a script to automate all of this. But this would be a good place to start. And you want to keep evolving and changing as your testing patterns and data testing needs grow. That's it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. I'll get to them as soon as I can. And uh, thank you for listening. If you learned something new or found this useful, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. It really helps out with the YouTube ranking algorithm. Thank you.